Arriving at watch point, Gibraltar. Prepare your defenses. All right, Gibraltar. Select not a good map for your characters. Not. No dying on my watch. Attackers incoming in thirty seconds. What are you looking at? Overwatch was shut down for a reason. Maybe it's best it stay that way. Five, four, I don't know how I even heal here. Two, one. <laughs> Attackers in. I think I must have steal damage. Stop the oh, pain. Wait, jump Walk her down. Get it done. It's locking like it. Why are we dropped already? And there's a fucking widow, which I didn't pay attention to. Alright. In these games, I don't understand, like, what the heck is even going on. It's, like, really hard to figure out what I should do. God, I hit got some knockback. And again. Didn't really give us enough time to retreat though, because it seems Finn is not going to need to die. I'm sorry, friends, I'll amp it. Expect a flanking McCree. It's an aggressive monkey. Oh my god, they got all the way to that corner. Alright. They're now holding our spawn. Maybe me and Ash can play here. Get in here. 
she was smarter than me. I was like, we can push out our window, and she was like, nah, I'm gonna stay where it's safe. Oh my god, I can't hit the guy standing in spell and trap because I'm not that good with Fefty's weapon. that Ash needed to heal him, but busy. And now everyone's gonna die. Can't get up in time. These fights just evolve so much, and I don't know what is going on, man. Sad Nick is now on the enemy team. This is Zarya from the last game. Prepare to attack. Select your hero. I mean, I'm feeling like Mercy. They were playing Mercy, though. They had snipers. I don't know, I play I play bath, I don't know. I don't know what the play is. No dying on my edge. It's good to be working with you again, Dr. Ziegler. And under better circumstances. Attack commences in 30 seconds. Let's show them how it's done. I think I've got this old man. Thank you, Baptiste. Oh, you're welcome. They're just gonna push on us and we're gonna die here. I'm glad to be getting a window, but probably be doing something better than that. What the what is my run doing now? Okay. I wanna window with my soldier's visor.
Maybe surprise someone down here. There'll be a flanking McCree somewhere. Our guy's at top me healing. Alright, they've kind of got it. Well, Mercy's the one who should have been up here, but she wasn't. And I went up here, and then she went up here at the same time, and that became an issue because my mind didn't have any healing. There we go. Halo in. That was almost deadly. No, I couldn't get away. Damn, that was almost a really good play. Oh, very unfortunate. Hello, Pokoali Sokai. Do you want a bandage for that? Okay, I'll let our mercy stick with the ash. Okay, our mercy did not stick with the ash. I could have told her to, but it should be pretty obvious, I feel. I don't know, she wasn't doing that earlier, so it's obvious she's not. That probably launched us that fight, actually. Just not being with her. Uh, unfortunate. Unfortunate, man. Alright, I want to give our Ash healing in the field. I don't know what our, what our mercy's doing. Doesn't make very much sense to me. I wish I could have been the one playing Mercy, that game would have been so much better. Alright. This is, this is the perfect time for a review. Alright. I know I didn't do ult track or anything, but I also didn't die to ult stupidly last game. Um. 
Alright. So what's going on? So... I have to start here. How do I, how do I leave it? Do I just move it? I right click, okay. It's F5 for me. Alright. So there's gonna be a widow. It's mostly a dive, actually. Depending on what Vex plays here. It's some kind of weird comp they're going. So. Our Zarya gets sniped, I don't recognize this, and I walk out in the open, and die. Meanwhile, I'm trying to heal everyone here, and I'm like, can't see anyone, and yeah, I'm dead. Then, because I'm dead, McCree comes up for free, and takes that area, and it's first fight lost. Alrighty. Okay. Coming into this fight... Our hog is already staggered. We should back it up. Because we can wait till they get to this choke, and it's a pretty good spot, I feel. The widow is gonna probably pick someone here. But at the very least, they waited long enough for a hog to get back, so that's good. And I'm just getting back. And I don't really know what's going on here. See, there's this McCree. If my aim was a little better, I could have killed him, but that's not really the issue. Uh, I wasn't really healing my team there, but I also feel like that was probably fine. You can't really let someone have that high ground. I don't know if the rest of the team really knows that. I don't know what else to do here. I didn't really <coughs> expect there to be a McCree there. And I wasn't going to use the lamp, because I figured we'd just kill him, but then, like, it was just taking too long, so I'm like, okay, I need to press this button or else everyone's gonna die. <laughs> I probably could have been able to kill him myself, my aim was a little better, but... Anyways. I'm up here, I'm just trying to <clears throat> deal as much healing and damage as I can. Trying to help the Ash win the duel and stupidly kind of peeking that. He really shouldn't be peek shooting that because that's a widow. If she's paying attention to that movement, she'll just kill me. But it's alright. Now, like, I don't even know what I should be focusing on here. So, like, if I recognized earlier that my mercy was being dumb, like, I could have. You, well, the best thing would have been to just tell her that you need to fuck the ash or something. But alternatively, I could have helped do, do that because this is a widow ash duel is the big thing for this game. Making sure that that goes right. And she definitely needed some assistance in this game that probably could help. Um, otherwise, I'm just waiting here because my team is very staggered. I don't even know what our wind condition is here, really. We're, we've got such a weird comp that doesn't make any sense. Our wind condition is our ash literally 1v6s, I think. And there would be no better character to do that on except Mercy, except our Mercy's being dumb. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Now they're holding us at our spawn door. It was the right idea to go out the left door here, but I push it too far. Obviously we don't have much of a presence outside, so I shouldn't take angles that are aggressive here. I should just sit back where the Ash is sitting is probably best. The Ash did perfectly fine in this game. If she just had more support, we, we actually could have won this. I feel like. If anything to take from this, it's uh, identify the carry and keep them pocketed. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this this fight's just gonna get lost. There's nothing really for me to really think about here. I don't know. It's not it's not an issue this game with me not using my lamp correctly. I don't feel like. 
I don't feel like there are a lot of ults that I missed that like got everyone in the team and I just messed it up like an idiot. Uh, just, just yeah. I think biggest thing, keep our Ash alive. Also, I'm not paying attention to this Winston as much as I should be. That's another thing I could do. Because the Winston right now is kind of getting the value. He wasn't always Winston. But he's kind of just getting value because I'm not doing anything to him. Like, if we just destroyed him every time he jumped in, that could be could be a good source of value for us. Well, now he's wrecking ball. Right. So he's playing mystery heroes this game. <laughs> Maybe Bap just isn't a character for me to play, I don't know. It's just so aim, aim reliant to get anything out of it, other than the bare minimum. The bare minimum with Bap is not very good, especially in a not dive, I mean, not brawl um, mirror. If, if your team is not playing coordinated, I don't know. That's what I feel like. I feel like Ana would be so much better, Zen would be so much better, Brig would be so much better, Four, Mercy. Three, two, one. Anyway, incoming. I'm just playing Bat because I, I want to learn Bat. <laughs> So, our Wrecking Ball is doing Wrecking Ball things and somehow surviving and winning it. I mean, they don't have a stun, right? Yeah. Um, our Ash... Wait, I'm not blue. Yeah. Wait, so it was their Wrecking... Oh, I'm just completely... Okay, let's go back. <laughs> I'm messed up here. Alright, I'm blue. And, and it has been that way for the whole time, bro. <laughs> Alright. Five, four, three, so we're two, blue. One. We don't have a stun. The wrecking ball comes and uh, messes us up real bad here. I don't really know how he gets away with this exactly, just rolling into our whole team. But it very clearly works, like he kills our Mercy, he almost gets me killed, he splits us up real bad. Yeah, I don't know. I, I could definitely have gone break for that. Like for the Winston for this. Um, our Rhine snipes their Zen. Surprisingly. And this is where we were kind of just stuck in here, and I was waiting to see what my Rhine was going to do. Bap. 100% Bap is the play right now. That's very obvious to me. Like, there's nothing that the strong heals or the immort field is going to do for us. And really, this Ash needs way more support than she's getting. It's, it's, I already mentioned this a lot, but yeah, like, Mercy needs to be over there. I'm perfectly fine down here. Our Mercy gets gets sniped, unfortunate. I think I was trying to heal her there, but I'm not entirely sure. I figured that they were pushing up because I saw people moving in and I'm like, maybe I could get some advantage this. Maybe Soldier can use his attack visor here, because that's what I was looking for. Um that was not the case. But I did snipe that mercy, so maybe it was worth it. No, nah, it was most definitely not worth it. <laughs> but I I have really bad window usually, so it's fine. <laughs> it's par for the course, what I mean. This is nice that they're taking the high ground up here. 
And it's nice that the mercy was actually with them this time. And, like, I spent so much time healing Reinhardt, man. Just for the Reinhardt to just go and feed, man. <laughs> I don't know. It's... It's so not worth it to heal these people. <laughs> if, if it's like a Brawl Mirror, then obviously just heal your Reinhardt at every opportunity, but... I feel like I need a DPS bath here. If I'm gonna play that. I shouldn't play that. But if I'm gonna play that, I need to really get up in the face of this Ash and this McCree, this game specifically, and just, just, just wreck him. Or at least just protect my Ash. Like, me and the Ash should be moving in the group here. Last thing I should be doing is sitting in the corner heal botting our run. <laughs> Alright, so, the ball stalls here, so I'm like, we need to get this ball off the cart, and I miss, like, every single shot, because I'm an idiot, and bad. Um, and then I'm like, they're pushing in, really, so it's a good time to use the window. I probably could have dropped and used it, but I think that that would be really just a micro thing, I think, that this is pretty much what I should have done. The issue there was not having the, the aim to kill anyone with it. <laughs> Uh, and obviously not turning around to deal with Ash, because that was more important than killing anything with the window there. You want to maintain dominance of this high ground at all times, and, um, would have given me more safety with which to operate. Alright. So, going into this fight, what should I be doing? I should be... well, I'm gonna be needed on cart. If I wasn't needed on cart, then I should definitely, yeah, take the high ground like I'm doing here. And I should go look for a pick, which is what I'm gonna do. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna have the know-it-all to know that there's a free coming up. If I was way better at this game, I could have tracked that the McCree had come from spawn, but... Really, that was just, that was just to go next, because... I mean, it takes so, so much practice and training to know that there's going to be a McCree coming around that corner. <laughs> I do want a bandage for that McCree. And then, again here, I was like, the Mercies can do it, and I'm like, just around. And I should have been with the Ash, which is a recurring theme. Uh, yeah. This game would have been so much easier if I just recognized that my Ash needed pocket. <laughs> and that armor suit wasn't helping her with that. Alright, so what happens here? So this could have been a perfectly good fight. I... what do I even do here? I go to help our Ryan and we get ulted out, right? Because the Sigma's gonna ult? No. Maybe. What does happen here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm low HP from the Kree shot or something, and then I walk around the corner and there's a ball. 30 seconds remaining. And that's kind of a big deal. And then our Ash get, gets diffed again. It's the whole story told over again. It's actually insane how important the fact that she's not getting pocket is right now. <laughs> I shouldn't be dueling with McCree, but I didn't really know that he'd be in our spawn. So I don't know. I could wait for my team to come out. It's probably the solution there. I mean, I should be able to anticipate that they're gonna come to our spawn, because... I mean, why won't they? <laughs> should really wait until my team's moving out before I move out of spawn. It's just a good general thing to do. Alright. Let's get Q1 now. 